This video will cover the topic trigonometric functions and special angles, problem type 1. Let's take a look at some foundational information before we get into an example problem. The figures shown below show the terminal sides of some angles in standard position. Also shown are the points where these angles intersect the unit circle. We can use these points to find sine or cosine of the angles. It is important to note that for angles that have the same reference angle, their points of intersection are closely related, only differing in the signs of their x and y coordinates. For example, angles with the reference angle pi over 4 have very similar coordinate points, square root 2 over 2, comma square root 2 over 2. The only thing that differs is a positive or negative sign on these points, based on the quadrant that the angle falls within. Okay, this all makes sense, but can we try an example problem? Of course! Let's find the exact value of sine of 3 pi over 4. Figure 3 shows that the terminal side of 3 pi over 4 intersects the unit circle at negative square root 2 over 2, comma square root 2 over 2. The cosine of the angle is the x-coordinate of this point, and the sine is the y-coordinate. This tells us that the sine of 3 pi over 4 is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. And if the problem asks us to find the cosine of 3 pi over 4, our answer would be negative square root 2 over 2, right? That's correct! Why don't you try the next example problem? Find the cosine of 2 pi over 3. Okay, so I can see on the reference angle charts that 2 pi over 3 has a reference angle of pi over 3 and the coordinates of negative 1 half comma square root 3 over 2. Since cosine is the x-coordinate of this point, our final answer is negative one-half. Great work! So to solve trigonometric functions and special angles, we must first identify the reference angle. Then, we determine the coordinate point for the angle, and finally we use either the x-coordinate or the y-coordinate for our final answer, depending on if the problem asks for sine or cosine of the angle. That all sounds right. And remember, you won't always have the reference angle charts to refer to, so it's important that you memorize these points. Don't worry, it will get easier with lots of practice. 